Good morning, my dear. Got a big project on, a big blue pipe project today. So, need to get cracking. So you can see how empty the pond is looking. Well, <clears throat> empty is a bit of an overstatement, obviously, but <clears throat> look at the pier that I'm... <laughs> pier. Look at the Grand Harbour that I built. What I meant to say is look at those planks of wood cable tied together over the edge of the water. And you can see how low the level of the water is. I'm going for a straight line across this path. As you can see, I've already started it. Judy is guarding my work. Of course, all of these jobs on the farm that I do, big and small, whether it's shoveling gravel or dirt or digging holes, laying pipes, planting trees, sorting out the distribution of the water, which is fun, it's not really a job. But my point is, I could pay somebody a relatively small amount of money to do these jobs for me, for us. But it's not the point. It's not the reason that we bought five acres of land in Thailand at this age. I'm sure I'd feel very different if it was 20 or 30 years in the future. If I was in my mid 70s instead of my mid 40s, then I'm sure, well, look, if I was that age, I wouldn't buy five acres of undeveloped farmland in very rural Thailand, let's be honest. Rather than me having to dismantle all this contraption, it just means, very simply, that we're able to decide to fill up either the pond or the canal at the flick of a tap. I didn't want to do anything permanent until we knew exactly the setup that we wanted because once it's done, once it's glued and buried under the ground, it's done, isn't it? It's finished. There's no going back from that. These banana trees have got very, very big of late. There's a huge bunch of bananas up there, look. Almost ready to be pulled down, really. This is so tall, this tree. This bamboo as well. This bamboo tree here is growing fast. I thoroughly enjoy doing these jobs. It gives me a sense of purpose and a sense of well-being and pride as well. Before I moved here, DIY and you know outdoor stuff, it really wasn't my, my thing at all. I was good at other things. And I was busy with other things and planting trees or digging holes or you know any kind of outdoor manual labor it just I didn't ever consider it but since coming here and being faced with all of these daily challenges and and jobs and tasks to to have to complete to have to get done you know without the kind of shortcut of paying somebody in the village 500 baht to do it for me um, it's taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot about myself and and I wouldn't change it Even though today is bloody tiring and it's hot and the air quality is not the best It's mid-February Kind of in the height of the burning season, I think But still look I wouldn't change this for the world. I honestly wouldn't change it for the world. Okay, 
that should be okay I'll just make a few little adjustments with my tie shovel or tie spade, whatever it is you want to call it this contraption brilliant thing on this completely buried and it's going to join up under the ground with what I've already got hooked up over there let's have a little wander down to my office and have a little rest Hey, you too. Where have you been? You haven't been on the road, I hope. Hey. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Hey, where have you been? You're not allowed out of the farm, are you? I can hear my arch enemy and his herd of cows. Oh, he's in my land, is he? Look at this cow in my farm here. <clears throat> I don't mind one or two. If he falls in the pond though, who's getting him out? I really need to get the fence fixed on this side. It didn't ever used to be a problem, but recently just in the last few weeks, our neighbour has cut down all of his sugarcane and a few other trees that he had and it's opened up a little bit of access through the front of his land, which joins onto mine. Stamp! 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 She's a little shit. Stamp! No further than there. Look, Judy's good as gold. She understands the authority in my voice. <laughs> Stamp takes it as a challenge. When I raise my voice, Stamp sees that as a challenge to defy me. <laughs> They're okay. <clears throat> my ass off. I just need to find this pipe that's buried under the ground from a previous project. It's a matter of bit of dirt in it, it will get washed out. Although I do want to be careful there's not a snake in there.
I'm too hot to even talk. <laughs> I'm tired. Just enough pipe. Okay, let's see if this works. See, I'm hoping when this tap is open, as it is now, and the water turned on, it just goes all the way down into the pond and no water decides to go around that corner because surely that would be defying the laws of physics. I think, I'm no scientist, but <laughs> let's see anyway. <clears throat> Gravity and physics are on my side. So, it's not working. We've only got a trickle out of this pipe, and also we've got a trickle out of this pipe. So all that means is I have to put an, a second tap on here, basically. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that. I obviously don't know anything about the laws of physics. So there was some water's choosing to go straight down, and for some reason, some water's choosing to go around the corner. I think Thai water is different than British water. That's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Let me go and see if I've got another tap somewhere. I probably haven't to be honest, but maybe there's something I can use. Well, against all odds, I found a brand new one and a quarter inch tap. My blue pipe treasure bag. So, Try again. Water on. This off. Bloody hell. Okay. Hang fire. Similar to myself, my camera overheated in this intense midday sun. So unfortunately I couldn't film me completing the job, which is burying this pipe under this road. But the job is done. Yes, it's a bit slapdash. It's not 100% finished, but that's okay. Nothing is, so. I've currently got the pond filling up. And if I want to fill that canal up, it's just a simple case of opening this tap, shutting this one off, and the canal fills up. It's all right, darling. You can see something that I can't. Or smell something. Might be a buffalo. Harmless buffalo. Perfect. But the canal is already quite full. So let's keep that shut off. And let's keep the pond getting full. That's the end because I am absolutely exhausted and absolutely buggered. So, thank you for watching this water-based blue pipe video and I'll see you on the next one.